It's time for our real estate segment with our real estate expert, REMAX broker, Nick Marku. Welcome back to the show, Nick. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, okay, so maybe this might come as a bit of a frustration perhaps for buyers right now at the moment. A growing number of properties are selling above asking price. Why is this happening, first of all? Well, basically what's going on is, is this past year we've been seeing like a record number of properties that are in multiple uh, offer situations that end up selling over the asking price. So basically what's going on is there's a, an increase in demand. Mm -hmm. and a very low low amount of product meaning there's a lot of people that want to buy there's not a lot of houses on the market yeah. which in turn yeah. creates that I'm living it right now so I know exactly what you are talking about what areas are we seeing this happen the most so basically uh, on a larger scale the island of Montreal is where we're seeing the most amount of multiple offer situations which end up selling over the asking price if you break it down on a smaller level in the island of Montreal the boroughs like Rosemont are very very strong then followed by Point Claire then followed by uh, Verdun mm -hmm. and aside from the uh, island of Montreal we actually were seeing the South Shore as a number two yeah. area where properties are selling over the asking price and are we seeing mostly like single-family homes selling above asking price or is this kind of go for all residential properties on the island of Montreal I think homes are generally a rare commodity so there's a large demand for them but actually it's the plexes the two to five units the small rental buildings really? that are performing the best with respect to getting multiple uh, offers and when we say above asking price like what have you seen in your experience how much are people paying above asking well, the island of Montreal, which is clearly a seller's market, uh, has been a seller's market over the last year. Um, we're seeing uh, an average of about $15,000 over the asking price wow. for the island of Montreal for properties that are in multiple offers. Okay, I started the segment by saying that this could be frustrating for buyers right now. So what can buyers do in this situation? I think the best thing to do, first of all, is to not buy in a situation where you feel like a panic or you need to, you're telling yourself, oh, I really need to get something, I'll just settle. Like, let's try to stay Move Wait for that. Mom, move into your mom's house like you, you're you can advising do that. me. <laughs> you can do that. I think uh, when yeah. a property comes on the market, be ready to visit fast. Get a pre-approval. There's no way you're winning a multiple offer situation if you're not pre-approved for your mortgage already and you have documentation showing showing that. Okay. Uh, I think you should try to meet the seller's conditions as much as possible as far as occupancy dates, mm -hmm. as far as what's included with the house or not. Yeah. And uh, I think you just got to act fast. And unfortunately, you got to make high offers. <laughs> yeah, so you're not going 20, 30,000 below the asking price hoping that you're going to get a deal. At this time, uh, yeah. probably not. You know, if you like the house, chances are there's a lot of other people that like it too. So. Okay, my last question is, do you see this situation continuing? Um, in my opinion, I don't, it's, it's unlikely that it continues in this way. I think eventually people will just end up asking for a little bit more money instead of, uh, you know, a price where a lot of people will start competing. I think interest rates will eventually cool off a lot of the buyers. I think there's a lot of new housing starts. So especially the condo market will become a little bit more saturated. So if there's more properties on the market, you know, there'll, there'll be more options for people to buy. Again, let's go back to the houses and the plexes. I think that that they're a rare product on the island especially so I think prices will generally tend to keep going up I don't know about the uh, multiple offer situations but uh, that's most likely what's gonna happen there you go Nick Marcuse predictions right there thank you so much Nick <laughs> thank you the real estate segment is brought to you by Remax Platine brokers Shanna Garneau and Nicholas Marcoux at your service